This tutorial is about analyzing an network data using QGIS um, in order to proceed uh, from the past data which will be have available uh, in a significant fi uh, file, significant earthquake file of the past. So we'll be using that to analyze the earthquake data uh, for a specific region only. So the data is for the whole world so we have to clip that or our region of interest so for that we will be using the clip command uh, just uh, dropping in the significant in the input layer and using the shape file of our, our and running the command It is done. Now close this. Turn off the layer so the only points covering our shape file will be appeared. So now, in order to analyze how how many points are located in a specific region, that is specific polygon. So for this, we would go to the vector, go to analyze, and select count points in polygon. Uh, so giving our desired layer here we have to now run this process this is completed now knowing about each layer now we will select the uh, information um, this information menu uh, and then we will be clicking on each and every polygon we can click on each and every polygon and know about how many earthquakes are located in this this means their attribute table have an additional uh, feature an additional uh, column that will be added to its attribute table of each polygon uh, have uh, an additional data of an earthquake as well that how many earthquake has occurred this means how many points are there in the earthquakes so you can see in the attribute table this is here Now we are going to analyze this for uh, a more uh, advanced study to use the color bands for the intensities of earthquakes either by their maximum average values to perform some statistic analysis on this. So for this we begin we use the tool extract by location selecting this tool from the processing toolbox we will be giving the Academy file and there we will be using the text file running the process now it is done now it has extracted the data by location now we will go to uh, analyze these some perform some statistic analysis on this for this we will go to we will use a tool it's known as point statistic for polygon Give the input data select we are selecting the earthquake primary its magnitude of the earthquake uh, field note and let's say we want all these some mean maximum average minimum run the process this might uh, take a bit longer than the Previous commands is completed. Now close this. And 
code of properties to change that symbology go to categorize symbols you can categorize it by any of the following like maximum minimum average uh, uh, let me do it by maximum now you can change the to change to blues so press classify mm. select okay now you can see expanded it's now classified on the color basis uh, depending on their uh, classified on their maximum magnitude color is showing showing this and you can make a sprint preview just pressing shortcut control p or selecting from the file give it any name okay and you can add a map here the map is now looking something small because there the map is not uh, zoomed in correctly so from here just right click on this zoom uh, click zoom to layer now remove this from here and again add it it will be now in zoomed form now this is much better now you can also lead, uh, add legions which will be showing the corresponding magnitude maximum so this is how you can make like a print preview of the project you can also export it to the pdf Not only so you can like uh, use different kind of symbologies for these um, this one we have used it uh, categorize one uh, we can also use some other types uh, let's uh, go to properties again and this time changing the symbology to 2.5 uh, the 2.5d and now you can adjust its height its uh, angle it's wall color, uh, roof color, it's shadow, then enabling shadow or shadow color and then size as well. So you can adjust these to have a different uh, look of uh, the in data. Let's set it to some value which you are easy with. Changing the color. Make it like something blue. also adjust the height now you can see it's not representing the data uh, having heights like uh, columns so this is also a kind of symbology that's depend truly really upon you uh, that depending upon your analysis how easy you are with Deviation. Uh, just uh, using the same maximum earthquake, you can classify on this space as well. Now it will show standard deviation. So that is about the today's tutorial. Like, share, and subscribe.